the Pasuk says, that there was a fear of Hashem over the people in the cities where Yaakov and his children traveled and that they didn't start off with the Yidin. Why does the Pasuk say, a fear of Hashem, and not a more common word, Yidas Alekim? What's with Chitas? We know the Friedrich Rebbe want, want, wanted every year to learn Chitas. Chitas stands for Chumash, Tehillim, and Tanya. Every day of Yid should learn the daily Chumash from Sunday Rishin to Shani, Monday Shani to Shlishi of that Parsha. And every day of the month, the way it's split according to the month, the daily Tehillim. And last but not least, every day to learn Tanya, the way it is split in a yearly cycle. You know, in the year 1843, the Tzamech Tzedek was about to send his son, the Reb Marash of Shmuel, on a mission to speak to the Russian ministers in Petersburg. And before he left, he told him, I want you to know that recently my mother, Rebetzin Devorah Leah, came to me in a dream and she told me that I went in Shemayim to the palace of the Baal Shem Tev, and I was asking that he should daven for you, that you should be successful in everything you're involved with and overcoming the people that are opposing you and your Hasidic teachings and spreading Hasidus. And the Baal Shem Tev told me, Rebetzin Devorah Leah said, that Chitas, the Svarim of Chumash Tehillim and and Tanya have such a power that when a Yid learns them, they'll be able to overcome all obstacles and barriers that are in his way. And that's why the Pasuk finishes off, Chitas is the power that the enemy's opposition are not going to attack and start up with the Yid. Are you learning Chitas? What an opportune time to start. If you're not learning Chitas yet, it's a beautiful time to start, to learn it, to live it, to love it. All the best. Have a good job.